It was called Cheat Day, where I thought you could work out like six days a week and just have one day to eat what you you, you, you want and just do it that way. And I had Dolce come in and, 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 and be, on, be, be in it with me and, and work me out and do it. And he kept going, you're not, you're not going to be able to do this. And I go, why? Because he goes, your one day is going to destroy everything. And he said, and I remember this, he goes, you can't outwork a bad diet. And he was right. It was like, I would crush it so hard. Like, people don't know what I can eat. Like, you know, I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like, when people go, oh, I'm a foodie, you know, like, it's like, you have no idea how much I can crush food. And that one day would just destroy it for the rest. Yeah. The the food thing is you can't outrun a bad diet. You just can't. You can't. You can't. It's the best phrase. It's real. That's that's where it all comes from. It yeah. all comes from food, and we're all addicted to food. And it's the craziest thing if you're addicted to food because you have to eat it. It's not like heroin. Like That's if right. you're addicted to heroin, like, oh, I've got a heroin problem, but I'm going to take a little bit of heroin. Right. No, you're going to go full bore again. You're, you're going to be fucked. It's right. like It's one of the very few things where you're addicted to it, and you got to not be addicted to it anymore, but yet you still need to eat it. Well, What? That's crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy conundrum. And most people's minds can't really process that. That's right. And I, I can't, I just... I can't because he he'll, he's given me the diets, Dolce. You know, just do this, mm -hmm. this, and this, and this. You know, it's formula. It's very simple. I mean, by the way, does every who who needs some a, another grown man to tell you what to eat? You know by now. Right. You know seriously. You know. And same thing with working out. You don't know. Move your body. Whatever yeah. it is, do you you know what to do? You may not know yeah. the intricate stuff of like split squats and this and that. Work this thing, in, but uh, general health. You know what? Yeah. I got to move my body more, eat better foods, less processed. Food. We, we know it, yeah. but yet, man, I can't. That's what this documentary I'm doing about. It. It's like, why I have access to the greatest guys? Why can't I still do it? It's like, and part of it is I need the Goggins. You know, yeah, thing. you need a hype man. You, you do. You need someone around you who's also doing it. Well, that's it. You know? It's community. I don't mm -hmm. have that. It's like when I'm with Dolce, if we're on a movie together or, or do something, he's got me in shape. He's right. giving me the meals and, you know, it makes right. you, when I'm my own captain, yeah. I'm <laughs> homeboy. I'm gone. I'm you, just gone. You know, one thing that you can try uh, that I guarantee will help you lose weight is the carnivore diet. Because if you do it, the one thing that you're going to not eat is any carbohydrates. You're only going to eat meat. And if you cut out all bread, all pasta, all sugar, all bullshit. I'm not saying this is a great diet. I'm not saying this is the way to live. I'm saying this is the best way for me to eat. I've done every other yeah. kind of diet. This one works the best for me, and it's the one that keeps me lean. Because right. when you're eating just protein, your body hits a satiety level. If you're just eating steak, just steak. Your body will hit a level, and you go, this is all I need, and then you won't want to eat more. But if I'm in that same mind space, right. and there's a steak there, but it's next to mashed potatoes right. with gravy, a, a bowl of pasta, right. ice cream, then I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to get another 7,000 calories. Yes. I'm going to keep going. But if I just eat the steak, then my body starts processing ketones. I start, instead of using carbohydrates, I'm only eating protein and fats. Your body goes into like a, a ketogenic state. You think better. It gives you an extra gear with thinking. The ketogenic thing is, I mean, that for me is is worked. It's because Dolce will hate me for saying like, like he's like, you know, when they say blueberry, you know, or, you know, carbs. He's he he's like carbs are fine for you, like the right carbs. There's nothing wrong with carbs. Right. It's a fuel for your body. Right. But what I'm saying is if you're trying to lose weight, one of the best ways to regulate your appetite is a carnivore diet because you don't overeat with it. But I think it's deeper than that for me. I think it's mental. I think it's like anything will work. I fasted that. Work. You know, like right. I've done everything, you know, it, it all works for a while, but why am I this size now? You know, I'm, uh, you know, I, every time I'm like, you know, just recently I started stop comparing myself to other people and trying to like just say get better than yourself yesterday literally that yeah. that concept for me works it's like when i'm in there because he'll give me workouts dolce to do too and i can't do i don't do them i can't do the reps four sets of 16 i get so bored by myself like i start doing my right. own stuff i'll do eclectic stuff great stuff on a treadmill all movement stuff like i love it just throwing punches doing things but i walk around and then 
I'm, there's no way to measure it though, because the next day I'm not doing that. I'm, yeah. you know, so it's like I'm the guy who walks up to the bag, hits the bag a couple times, and then walks. Oh, look at this thing! I got. I have every piece of equipment in 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 my, in my gym. I do. If you if you saw my gym, you go the, the Rock live here. You know, it's like <laughs> li- literally. It's like they see me and they're like, "What are you doing?" It's like <laughs> I buy everything because I buy into it. I'm like, right, because it's a little this. piece of hope. Yeah, that's what it is. Right, right. A treadmill is a little piece of. It's hope. a hope, a new thing. It, like I got the uh, Jacob's ladder. I go, mm. oh, it's great. It's jujitsu. You're grabbing yes. the ring. This is great. It's functional. Yeah, it's collecting dust. Is what it's doing. <laughs> it really, I because I don't use it, so I need something. That's what this thing is. What can get me? Because I am like most people. I'm telling you, you don't need a lot of stuff, but you need something to engage yourself every day. There's got to be a bridge between what the Goggins way and people who do nothing. Like, like yeah. you got to get that. Like, you, I, I saw you were doing this with the other comedians, which I love. You know, it's like where you go, I just want them to walk or just get yeah. them down there. Get That is so important, man, because it's like if you can get into that groove, you do feel better. Like, that's what blows my mind. I've gotten in shape a couple times, and I'm like, I don't need to eat any more crap. I, don't, I love the yeah. working. I love the way I feel. And then it slides right back. What happens? Well, it's, in, it's one of the things about you that makes you really funny is you're indulgent. You're just wa- you're a wild dude who's like trying to stay buttoned up. It's like part of what's really funny right, about you. Right. And that indulgence, it, it, it goes into other things. And for you, it's food. Right. You know, luckily it's not but, gambling or something like right. really crazy. Right. You but know? I don't, I, I quit things too. Like, like, like I feel like I have the same almost intensity that you have. But I'm not a finisher.